We're into year four. Dwayne, in the article, you say that only two wide receivers since 2011 have broke out in year four as a wide receiver one, while never finishing as a wide receiver one in a prior season. Looking at this year's slate of fourth year wide receivers, I see two really interesting names I'd love your take on. Those are Scary Terry McLaurin and A.J. Brown, both dealing with some impactful new variables. Carson Wentz, quarterbacking for McLaurin. A.J. Brown now in the Philadelphia uniform. What are you looking at with those two wide receivers? Yeah, man, A.J. Brown, it, he's a beast. Like, <laughs> I mean, he pops in ways like in this stuff that it's pretty rare. Like, it's it's rare, rare how well he he, he does. So look, looking at A.J. Brown, like look, just looking at his career so far, obviously he was already a wide receiver too as a rookie. He scored 217 fantasy points. And if you look at him, though, his PFF receiving grade that season was an 83, which is really good. That was wide receiver two worthy. Um, but his yards per route run was already a 2.67, which was a wide receiver one. Now, Hayden Winks has done some really good work at looking at whenever you play more out of heavy sets because there's less receivers in the route. So if you've got a fullback, they don't catch many passes. If your tight end's not good, they don't catch many passes. So yards per route run can get a little inflated by playing in a type of offense like the Titans, but it's still such high end numbers from Brown. Like it's absurd. And it's not just that in year two, he had a 90.1 PFF receiving grade as a wide receiver two and a wide receiver one yards per route run. And then in year three, even though he was a wide receiver three, because he was only out there for 58% of the passing plays. And this is why I love these data points because they don't lead you astray. 86.8 receiver grade for PFF. That's a wide receiver one targets per route run 29 freaking percent that's a wide receiver one and his yards per route run 2.49 that is also a wide receiver one so basically everything about aj brown screams i am an elite badass wide receiver one it just hasn't happened yet do we wish i god i would give anything for aj brown to have landed with the chiefs you know or one of these <laughs> other teams he didn't so a lot of the same challenges that he had um with tennessee are obviously going to still be in his way you know it's a it's a team that could try to remain run heavy i will say you know philly is not as grounded in being a run heavy team as what mm. mike rabel right is with tennessee i just think there's sure. still a chance we see you know the eagles warm up throw the ball a little more i think they're gonna still use the run because it helps set you know hurts up but man, like you just can't count AJ Brown out. Like eventually, like in his these numbers are so good. Like every receiver that's had these kind of data points eventually had a monster blow up wide receiver one season. Yeah, I I just you you've talked recently on a couple of pods, Dwayne, about like just defaulting to talent, and I think AJ Brown is like the pure case test case for that, like defaulting to talent because he's just you can see it like it's he does he passes the eye test he is the dude and ron in the chat here a big eagles fan is is saying hey preach uh he loves it as well right here you got a discord so do we let's keep this conversation going join our discord link it's somewhere in the profile